In today's guide, we're going to go over the best Pokemon to use for the 7 star Terror Raid Cinderace event. But before we get into today's video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you would like to. So the Pokemon that we're going to be covering is literally going to be one-shotting Cinderace. It's going to make these event dens easy to farm so you can get a bunch of really high cost items and valuable items easily while you've got access to this event in your game. So the Pokemon that you're going to want to be using is a Slowbro here. You can see it's got the Psychic Terror types and make sure that is the terror type that it does have you're going to want to attach the life orb that is the item that you're going to want to use on this pokemon just to give it a bit of extra power now the important things the move set slack off there gives you a form of recovery iron defense is going to boost your defense stat by two stages every time you use it nasty pot going to boost your special attack by two stages every time you use it and then we're going to be relying on stored power as its main attacking option which increases in power with every stat boost you get so when you combine this with a plus six defense and special attack stat this move is going to be hitting for absolutely ridiculous damage gonna have an ev spread of 252 evs in hp and 252 evs in special attack you can put the rest in defense and you're gonna have a modest nature don't worry about the ability it doesn't really matter for this specific terror raid so once you've got your slow bro all ready looking exactly like this one with the move set the nature which is modest remember this ev spread 252 hp 252 special attack you are ready to come in and locate the raid den so you want to just challenge alone and the premise of this whole strategy is to basically iron defense up three times so your plus six defense you're not going to be taking any big damage from the cinderace no matter how many bulk ups it gets then you're going to want to use the nasty plot three times maxing it out to plus six and then slack off as and when you need it just if you are taking too much damage you don't want to get knocked out after you've got these iron defenses set up so just recover as and when you need it like i say and then you can launch that stored power off and hopefully by that point cinderace should have taken a bit of chip damage from your partnering pokemon and that will then put it in range for the stored power to pick up the knockout with that life orb boost that we've got on top of it so as i say we start off always with the iron defense and you can see even without the iron defense we're not taking too much damage from that initial acrobatics after the bulk up that the cinderace is always going to launch off and um, before the battle even begins as you can see the second one here is not going to be doing anything now you could change the item from life orb to something like leftovers if you feel more comfortable with that so you've got a little bit of more recovery every turn especially after you've got the iron defenses boosted up you're not really going to be in any danger of getting knocked out unless you see a critical hit come in and that is something you're always going to have to really consider because if you're going to do a, a bunch of these battles it is going to happen inevitably at some point so just take that as and when it happens and maybe just restart the game at that point if you want it probably would be quicker because if Cinderace has bulked up at that point uh, it will be a bit probably out of control for you to get these iron defenses up and then keep that recovery going to kind of keep you in the game so we've got the three iron defenses up we'll go for the three nasty plots now and once they are set up we are in a good position to launch off this stored power which will be boosted by the life orb as well and there's our third nasty plot so if you want to check how your stat boosts are going and see which stage you're at you just press the y button on the main screen and then you can click in your pokemon you can see the stat boosts that you've got you've got there we're in a pretty good health condition so we can just launch off this stored power and see how much it does might kill don't know it'll be very close though with how much it does with the life or boost but oh so close taking it right down to the shield to activate now but you can see how much damage it does and it really makes these raids even when you're doing them solo super quick to do so this is probably the most effective pokemon to train up and use for these seven star raids especially for the cinderace just because you've got that defense kind of capabilities you've got the recovery through slack off as well if you need it as and when and then you've got that huge stored power attack to just rely on to do absolutely nuts damage now you do have to worry about when the cinderace goes for nullifying your um abilities and stat boosts because that is something that that can happen at any point after the shield goes up um but just keep an eye on your stats to make sure that you are kind of in a, a healthy position and if you're not in a position to get the slack off up you can always use the cheer function don't forget about that because that's something that is quite valuable and will just make these matches a lot easier to kind of control and um, finish off so you can farm the items a lot easier 
And there we go. It is done. The Cinderace is finished off. We can't catch it because we've already caught it in our copy of the game. But this is probably the easiest Pokemon to use. A bunch of candies in this one. No ability patch, but a nice array of items. And it's such a good event then to just take advantage of. And once you've beat this one, you're just going to have to go onto your map to respawn the seven star raid den in your game again so it has disappeared it will take 24 hours normally to respawn but if you hit your home menu come down to system settings and then down to system date and time make sure your clock is off via the internet come to your date and time and just move your minute back by one so go back in time one minute and then come back into the game and that will respawn all of your dens on the map and you'll be able to see that one's just popped up there and then you want to just locate the seven star terror den wherever it is and you can see it's down there and you can head down to that one and just rinse and repeat this process so that is the guide for the probably the best at the minute Pokemon to use for this brand new seven star Cinderace Terror Raid event. I hope it is useful for you friends. If you have found it useful, please drop a like on the video. Do subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content. And I'll see you in another video very soon. So until then friends, take care of yourselves and bye bye.